When the BlackBerry Key One was launched last year, it was a truly unique proposition. A typical BlackBerry design, a physical QWERTY keyboard, and the operating system running on it was Android, which everybody seemed to want. BlackBerry is replicating the same with this year's Key 2. It's the same design, it has a physical QWERTY keyboard, and it also runs Android. But is it better than last year's phone? Again, this one is meant for the business users who will be spending more of their time typing on their phones rather than playing games, perhaps. Let's find out more about the BlackBerry Key 2. The Key 2 is what you expect from a BlackBerry branded phone. Understated design, clean looks and a well laid out physical QWERTY keyboard. The one design foible that we did notice, however, is that you will accidentally press the convenience key often instead of the power key when trying to unlock the key too. Perhaps having this convenience key on the other side spine would have made for better ergonomics. Nevertheless, this elegant phone is great to hold and use. The keyboard is well laid out and each key press elicits a consistent response. If you are switching from a touchscreen back to this physical keyboard, you'll probably find typing is a little slow initially. But for anyone who may already be using a BlackBerry phone, the familiarity aspect is undeniable. The display is bright and the text looks quite crisp to read. Even at low brightness levels, visibility is good and reflections are minimal. The only area where the Key 2 perhaps falls behind the Android phones in its price range is with the processor. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor, though no slouch, is still not a match for the more top-of-the-line Qualcomm Snapdragon processors. There are dual 12 megapixel cameras at the back, which do well with most photos that you will flick. The BlackBerry Key 2 is perhaps the perfect example of a phone that is more of the same, but slightly better in every respect. But the question still remains, do you really need a physical QWERTY keyboard on your phone in 2018? Some business users may say yes, but for most of us, the answer is no.